Hello everyone, my name is Watson. In this video, we're going to talk about the PoE splitter that is needed in our PoE injector PTZ camera setup. So what is a PoE splitter? The PoE technology transmits power and data through a single Ethernet cable, and it makes our PoE network system setup much more convenient. When we are wishing to use a PoE injector, it is mostly because of these two occasions. First, we have a PoE network system already, but we don't have enough power budget, so we use a PoE injector to provide more power. And second is when we have a regular network system and we want to upgrade it to a PoE network system. The PoE injector receives the power from the power electric outlet, and then the data from our data source, maybe our router, maybe our network itself. And then it will have the power and data in this device, which will make it be able to transmit PoE signals at this port. So a PoE injector will allow to provide PoE signals too. So when we're using a PoE injector to set up a PTZ camera system, this is maybe because it's much more convenient because we only need one Ethernet cable. But now we're gonna talk about the PoE splitter. Why do we need a PoE splitter? There is a type of IP devices which are kind of different from PoE IP devices. They're called the non-PoE devices. They do not have the PoE technology programmed in it, which means they're not PoE enabled. When they are connected to a PoE sourcing equipment, like a PoE injector, it receives the PoE signal, but it only takes the data. The power is useless. It doesn't receive the power, you can say, because there is initial power handshake when two devices connect to each other. And the power handshake is, our power sourcing equipment detecting if they have the response saying, they, oh, we are a PO, standard PoE, please send us the power. If it doesn't receive that response, it will not send the power, it will send the data only. So if, this is, if the PTZ camera is not a standard PoE device, how do we uh, experience the benefits from a PoE system? We want all the benefits, we want it to make us convenient, what do we do? Well, don't worry, we don't have to like go and get a PoE enabled one. We can use a PoE splitter, that's where it shines. So we know that the PoE injector is like combining the power and data together and then transmitting it. The PoE splitter is like the reversed procedure. It receives the PoE signal, then it splits it up to the power and data again. So when we have a non-standard PoE device here, we can use the injector to upgrade our network to a PoE network. It makes it convenient. We only need an Ethernet cable to transmit the power and data. But when it reaches the IP device, we're going to need the PoE splitter to split it up to the power and the data again. Once we get the separate power and data, we can connect it to our IP device's power and data source. It's really convenient. So now, let's see how it works. Our data is going to come from our MVR in our monitor here, goes to the PoE injector, the injector transmits to the splitter, the splitter splits it to a 12 volts power, and then another Ethernet cable for the data. So it's pretty obvious how it goes, so it's like power and data combined, transmitted to splitter, splits up, and provided to our PTZ camera right here. So now let's take a look. First we connect our NVR with our PoE injector. The injector is on, so now we're going to connect our splitter to the injector as well. And on the splitter, remember the injector connects to the PoE port, meaning the PoE signal gets in here. And now, shortly, our splitter should be receiving the PoE signals, like now. The splitter's indicators are lit on, meaning it has the PoE signals inside it. It's ready to split it up. And then we just use an Ethernet cable to connect our splitter to our camera. And then provide the power with this 12 volts power cord. Now we just connect the power, and the power has been sent to our camera. Now, so it's initiating its self-diagnosis. So after diagnosis, we should have the image on our screen shortly. And now I can see that I'm moving my hand in front of the camera, so this is like a real-time live video. So that means this whole network setup is very successful. Now, if you have, that's pretty much it. So now you know what, why this PoE splitter is really necessary in this setup. 
If you guys have any more questions for this video, you can leave them at the section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching today, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.